Hello everyone, Lily Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Thursday, October the 20th, and this is the Annaberger HTS 34.16 by Vertex Design and Rafnix. 18.71 megabytes to download, only 10 slots on console. It is an auger wagon, and we'll find them under auger wagons. <clears throat> there it is. $95,440, uh, recommended horsepower, 240 horsepower, 46,000 liters of capacity, capacity, excuse me, oh my, uh, we have a choice of wheel brands, Trailborg, Michelin, yeah, those two, so one or the other, uh, no charge for those, uh, either one you want, you can't change them. We have designer no stickers or stickers, which is interesting. It says the 46,000, basically 46,000 liter capacity and 20,000 liters per minute, three, every three minutes, 20,000 liters every three minutes. Is that what it, I don't know. It seems like that's the unload speed, although it's in another language, which I can't read, but I'm guessing that's what it is. Right. So. <clears throat> Then we have a pipe uh, option, the standard grain chute pipe, or a seed auger, which we're going to try out, of course, but that's going to cost you an extra 15 grand, so just be aware of that. Uh, we have red or gray for a color option, and rim colors, we have the silver, the chrome, or black. No charge for the color options. Again, that's a plus plus in my books. I hate paying for color changes just on principle. That's all for me personally anyways. Uh, right, so let's um, let's just hop into the base one, uh, the one with the regular, shall we say, the grain shoot, and then we'll test out the other one. So pretty much basically, um, if you don't know anything about auger wagons, uh, they they must be powered by a tractor or something so either a tractor or uh, There are power units you can hook up to them But they have to be powered and the unit has to be running For it to unload so L1 and down pipe out uh, We have closed cut. We have a cover Closed cover open cover. We also have adjustment options L1 and right stick left and right will adjust the end, as you can see there, if we zoom in right. There we go, nice and close. L1 and left and right on your right stick. <clears throat> also, R1 and right stick up and down will adjust the height, basically. So all the way down to there, to from there, to all the way up to there. And... That it, oh yes, and also we have L1 and R1 right stick up and down adjusts there we go adjusts the height of the hitch height so to balance out the weight perhaps because it is a uh, three axle so you might want to do it like so to even out depending on the tractor you are using also. A rear wheel steering on this trailer now that if you are trying to back it up that it could be uh, might be a bit of an issue because it it if you it's like uh, that you know it turns when you're turning backwards too so it could mess up how you reverse so you might have to make sure you're kind of straight backing up and turning is going to be a little tricky with this little uh, fella right unloading unloading automatically goes oh farm dog max is excited about watching the unload and there it is uh, you don't have to turn it on or anything if it's hooked up to a vehicle that's running it will automatically discharge once it is uh, a senses uh, well somewhere to to unload you can also force unload L1 R1 and triangle like so and pour it on the ground if you wish now on to the next one 
All right, so here we are with the um, one with the seed end on it. <laughs> and let's see uh, how easy this is to, uh, let's see, get that adjusted. Again, L1 and right stick adjust the end on there. So let's see if we can get close enough on this cedar. Oh, see what I mean about backing up? The wheels turn if they were turned. Oh, excuse me. They're, they're going to turn backing up. That's going to become really annoying. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, it's hitting on. There we go. Does that come on? Is it not? Uh, maybe the other side. Hmm. I wonder if just the standard, uh, Well, this should be pouring in there. Hmm. Well, let's see if the regular one here works any better for fertilizer. I would have thought it would have uh, been a little bit easier to uh, recognize that this is the base game basically a base game there we go that one works so <laughs> um, yeah <clears throat> if I were you I would just go with the basic grain auger wouldn't and forego with the seed uh, and thingy uh, let's see is it gonna pour out here Will it even recognize? Oh, okay, so it does work. Oh, and the backing up the the wheels. Uh, that's really, really annoying. Those wheels should not turn when you're backing up. That is a problem. I think uh, a big problem with trailers with the turning axle. That should be the that turning axle should be locked when backing up. That's just my yeah. Uh, how fast is it to unload? Not all that fast. At least not that. <clears throat> Let's try this out, see how fast it is. Uh, see, if you're turning and then you want to back up, it just goes squirrely right away. It's... that's... that is not fun. I don't like that at all. I would rather do without the turning rear axle altogether, in my opinion. That that's unloading a lot faster than the. Yeah, that unloads really fast. I like that. I would just not go for it's fifteen grand for that extra tip uh, seed auger. It's still going. <laughs> yeah, that's really slow and. Yeah, I I would I would totally not uh, not get that option if you're going to go for that but anyways uh, that's pretty much it uh, other than that it seems to work really nice I do hope uh, yeah I don't know about that rear wheel turning thing but um, that's the Annaberger HTS 34.16 by Vertex Design and Rafnix 18.71 megabytes of down on only only 10 slots on console this is for all platforms Thank you for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So, till next time, bye for now.